that's the story I'm going to read today. Let's begin. You are a writer. By April Jones Prince. Illustrated by Christine Devenier. Two books in one. You are a writer. Wake, watch, wonder, plot. You can weave with words and thoughts. Tell your story, make your mark. You can help ideas spark. You have passion, you have zest. Use them on your writing quest. Look around and listen well. It's your job to touch, taste, smell. Classroom, kitchen, park, or fair. You're a writer everywhere. Still staring at an empty page? Every writer knows that stage. Ask what if. Change your view. Try a pen or stick. That's new. You might stumble. You might sigh. But writers read and draft and fly. Don't give up. You're doing fine. Try juicy words. They're more than nice. Juicy words have spunk and spice. Gooey, sticky, plump, stellar, tumble, crackle, flutter, soar, gigantic. Use details too. The super tool that boosts your words like rocket fuel to let you show instead of tell, and cast your magic writer's spell. And if your story won't ignite, choose another thing to write. Jot a journal, sing your song, try a slogan, short and strong. Use your voice vote, pen a poem, Type a text. Write a thank you at your desk. And when the word stream starts to flow, get it down, now, swift, or slow. Cut and paste and edit later. You're the boss. You're the creator. Scribe by night or draft by day. You have mighty things to say. Hear the stories in your head. Bake them into epic bread. Write to share your hopes and notions. Or to sort out tough emotions. Tallest tales or stories true, they are gifts designed by you. So think them up, write them down. Cause you are a writer. And writers are readers. Readers are writers, and writers are readers. In my next video, I'm going to read, You Are a Reader. A Reader by April Jones Prince Illustrated by Christine Devenire Two Books in One You Are a Reader
Scan, sound, simmer, think. You can guzzle words and ink. Do you open, swipe and tap? Maybe listen in a lap? You might borrow, you might shop. You can even read and swap. You might stumble, you might sigh, but readers practice, grow, and fly. Don't give up, it's worth your while. Search until you find the thing that makes your reading radar ping. And when a story makes you grin, clap and cheer and shriek again. Storybooks aren't quite your speed. So many other things to read. Labels, programs, comic books, a recipe that you can cook, magazines, maps, directions, menus full of sweet selections. There's cozy reading on your bed or inside a fort instead. Gather round on rug or chair. Share a story anywhere. The magic tree. Favorite stories steal your heart with characters who stand apart. They're brave and strong with clever wit, style, pluck, or downright grit. Their worlds feel rich and real. Their actions you gasp or squeal. Reading is like milk and bread. Feeds your thirsty, hungry head. You can dream, imagine, muse. Slip on someone else's shoes. Find the facts. Learn the truth. You're an information sleuth. Tallest tales or stories true, they're an author's gift to you. So soak them up, drink them down. Cause you are a reader. And readers are writers and writers are readers and readers are writers. The end. Thank you for reading this story with me. See you next time. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.